If you're learning to draw, you may have come up against a formidable opponent, the circle. Circles are so simple, but they're so darn tricky to draw. Here are three techniques that I teach to students who are struggling with the elusive perfect circle. First off, let me contradict myself by saying when you're sketching, don't expect to get a perfect circle. We're not machines or robots, and so there are going to be some imperfections. Even with lots of drawing experience, I can't often draw a perfect circle in one go. Well, at least not every time. But you can get more consistent results by approaching drawing a circle in a couple of different ways. Let me show you how. Just like in my video on how to get better at drawing straight lines, for this video I'm actually going to use my opposite hand to show you that even if you don't have much drawing coordination yet, you can still use these techniques to improve your circles. Let's start with a control circle. It's not great. For the first technique, to improve on this, we can start by using a series of small lines or arcs to shape a circle rather than trying to get it round all in one go. For this technique, keep the bottom edge of the hand resting on the paper and activate small movements from the wrist. Now this is different from what you're generally taught when you're learning how to draw, which is to move from the elbow or the shoulder. But this will give you some stability and using the wrist naturally creates a soft arc. Start with a series of short light lines and work your way around the circle. You can move your hand across the page and you can turn the page as you need to, but keep thinking about drawing soft arcs. Now this might not look great at first, but the advantage of this technique is if you're working lightly, you can now edit your circle by smoothing out any weird bumps or angles, just by drawing over top. Keep working around the circle until you've smoothed out all of the kinks, and then if you like you can add a more solid line around the corrected path and rub out the other lines. Technique two is plotting points. For this technique, we'll create a map of where the curves of the circle should go. Start with a cross section, a vertical and a horizontal line, and then put a point at each end. And each distance from the center should be about the same. We're gonna join these dots, but to make sure you don't create a circle that has points or angles in it, use your wrist movement to add a shallow arc at each point first. and then work around the circle to add in the missing pieces. If you need to, you can edit your circle, smoothing out any bumps. Remember, there should be a shallow arc at each plotted point, not a sharp curve or a corner. Technique three is rhythmic circles. Ideally, you want to be able to sketch circles quickly, and this technique is really worth practicing. Move your hand on the page in a circular motion. Now this time we're not using the wrist. Keep your wrist straight in line with your forearm and move your whole hand against the page. It might help to think about the movement of your elbow, also making rhythmic circles in the air. When you've got the movement flowing, lower your pencil to the paper and draw three or four rotations in the same place. Try both directions to see which is most comfortable. So this is the quickest way to draw circles, but it takes practice to develop a steady rhythm, so keep filling up your page. With practice, it'll become more natural and you'll be able to confidently sketch circles for your foundation sketches. Now the bonus is that all of these techniques will work for ellipses as well. So you can use them when you're drawing any kind of cylindrical shapes. Now that you've mastered the circle, how are you doing it drawing straight lines? You can check out this video here for straight line tips and techniques. And remember, whether you want to get better at drawing straight lines or drawing circles, the key is practice. Keep practicing and with time, I promise you, it'll become easy.